Alrighty, hello everybody. Today's adventure begins with us scouting the jungle for a base to raid. Here we go. Alright, so we're gonna go and scout that one base that we found in the last episode. We didn't really get a chance to scope it out too well since we were in a rush at the time, but it did look pretty promising from that quick glance that we gave it. So we're gonna go check that out right now. Here it is. This is the base that caught our eyes yesterday. Let's hope nobody has come to raid it yet. So it looks like the owners actually haven't been online in quite a few hours. So if we do decide to raid this place, we are going to have to wait till they get back online because I do want this to be an online raid. Actually, I don't think we're going to have to wait for anything. Check it out. Looks like somebody already raided this place. So we found this base yesterday and it definitely wasn't raided at the time. So I'm guessing this place was raided near the end of raid hours because that's around the time that I got off Conan. I do find it a little bit weird that the entrance to this base didn't really have too much protection. But there's all this insane honeycomb on the side for some reason. Yeah, I feel like there's definitely got to be some hidden stash beneath all this unnecessary honeycomb on the side that doesn't really protect the actual base itself. Well, if we can't find a base to raid and we get desperate enough, maybe we'll just come back here and waste our bombs blowing up the honeycomb. Ever since the last raid that we did two days ago, we really haven't been able to find any decent bases to raid. It seems like all that's really left are the unraidable alpha bases, which as a solo player, we really wouldn't stand a chance against, since most of the alpha clans have at least six players or more. Thankfully, we do still have one more base here in the jungle that is a potential raid target. We're gonna go check that out right now. Alright, here we are. We made it to the base. Check it out, looks like the owners actually forgot to remove the elevator during raid hours. Big mistake. Really glad we're not gonna have to use the bad spell. We can just bypass all this anti-climb using their own elevator. And even better yet, the decay timer shows that the owners are actually here right now, so we might be able to have a nice battle up there. I'm gonna do my best to bait them out to come out for a fight. All right, let's see what we got here. Check it out, this looks to be the main room. They got all their benches here and a few chests. Now we just gotta find them and try and get them to come outside. Well, that wasn't too hard. They just found us. He just went back inside. I'm gonna type in chat and challenge them to a fight. Let's see if they come out. Yep, he's coming out now. Here we go. Alright, so we're not gonna chase after them. We'll have them chase after us and we'll just counter attack. this guy so that he doesn't re-kit. I think that's all we're going to be able to take with us. Now let's just bait the other guy, make him think we're still looting, and then we'll attack him. Yeah! <laughs> 
There we go. That's the last one. Now I'm not going to be able to take much with me since I'm not in an encumbrance build. I'll just take what I can. Alright, we'll just take this. That's pretty much all we can carry. We're already over encumbered. It's a real shame we can't take more with us. So now we just gotta figure out a way out of this base. And as you just saw from the fight, the server is insanely laggy right now. So I don't trust that I'll survive if I jump down and try to slide my way down. I think we're just gonna need to jump down and hope we don't land on shallow water. So one of the players that we just fought, uh, they're not too happy about losing that battle. He's actually asking me to come over to Sinkhole and have a fight with one of the Alpha players instead. So as soon as we drop this loot off, we're gonna go fight one of the Alpha members. Alright, just depoted our loot and now we're headed to Sinkhole because one of the players that we just fought, they challenged us to go and fight a member of an Alpha Clan and it sounds like fun so we gladly accept it. I'm really hoping that the member of the Alpha Clan that we're about to fight that he stays honest and doesn't just ambush us with his teammates instead. Here we go, moment of truth. Let's see what happens here. Hope we don't get ambushed. We have avoided this place for most of this playthrough because Sinkhole is pretty much ruled by all the massive alpha clans and it's just not a good place for a solo player. Alrighty, he has arrived. This is the player that we're going to be fighting today in a 1v1. Here we go. Let's do it. Alright, so it looks like the player that I was just fighting, his clan's pyramid just started getting hit by another alpha clan midway through our battle, and now both clans are just fighting each other. I'm gonna go ahead and wait here for a bit and see how this battle plays out between both clans and see if maybe we'll be able to finish our fight once it's over. Little update, the battle continues, they're fighting right over there. I don't think this battle's gonna be over anytime soon. Well, I think we've waited long enough. The battle is still going, so we're just going to get out of here and continue with our adventure. We're going to head back to the jungle one more time and go check out a new alpha base that I spotted earlier when I was heading back to base after fighting those two players. Alright, so this new alpha base, it should be in one of these islands near the green wall. Yep, there it is to the right. Should start rendering in any moment now. I'm going to try and not get too close to them because there's a lot of players online right now from that clan. We got some explosives going off. That's crazy. I think this base just got completed today and it's already being torn down. What's funny is that I've actually been raided a long time ago by some of the members of this clan that's getting raided right now. It would be pretty satisfying if I could join in on this raid, but I don't know the clan that's actually raiding this base, and if I just show up, I'd probably just end up getting attacked by both clans. So unfortunately, this is the closest we'll be getting to this raid, because it's just too risky to get any closer since I don't have a weapon to fight in the water. 
All right, so I've been reading Global Chat and I managed to gather some intel. So it appears that this clan, Victoria's Secret, is getting raided by this new alpha clan that just joined the server yesterday, I believe. And just from looking at the player list and from reading Global Chat, uh, this new alpha clan is massive in size. So yeah, at this moment, there's chaos all around today on this server. We pretty much have all the alpha clans fighting each other right now. We got two of them fighting at Sinkhole and we have two of them fighting here at the jungle. Unfortunately, I am going to have to get off Conan for the rest of the night, so we won't really be able to see how all this plays out tonight, but we should be back tomorrow to find some chaos of our own. I'll see you guys then. So I literally just got on Conan for the day and I just spotted this player here at Sinkhole and now we're just gonna go after them. Goodness, those arrows hit so hard. I've actually fought this player quite a few times in the past, so I know he's a really good PvPer. We're gonna need to be real careful because he's an insanely good archer. arrows are just keeping me on the defensive we gotta find a way to somehow get up close with full health and then we strike Hmm. <laughs> 
We only got one potion left. Just trying to regen my health a tiny bit because those arrows hit like a truck. I think we just lost him while we were trying to regen our health. He just got away. Yep, he's out of here. We lost him. So unfortunately, he ended up getting away, but that was one sweaty fight. Absolutely enjoyed it, despite how much I fumbled that fight. I feel like I had a few good opportunities to get the kill, but I missed my shots at the most crucial moments. Honestly, I was just a bit nervous throughout that fight. Like I said, I have fought that player before, and I knew he was a good archer, and those arrows were just keeping me on edge. But nevertheless, good fight to Insanity. Always a pleasure fighting. He just said in chat GG, and that he had to dip because because he actually ran out of arrows. I think now we'll head back to base and pick up some more heals because we used them all up in that fight. And then we'll continue our search for chaos. I'll see you guys then. So just read some unfortunate news in the chat. Uh, there's quite a few people claiming that there is at least two cheaters out right now roaming around and they're just ganking players left and right. Yeah, it's a real shame, but it was only a matter of time before these guys show up. Whenever there is an active, healthy server, they'll inevitably show up eventually. That's just how it is on official servers, but we're not going to let that spoil our fun today. I say we keep going with our adventure. I'm just going to roam around and if I find anything interesting, I'll be sure to let you guys know. I just stopped by sinkhole to see if there was anything going on here, but there appears to be no movement at all. So now we're just going to head over to Brim Lake and see if anything is happening there. Alrighty, here we are. Now let's see if anything's happening here. Looks like we got two players over there. Looks like they're fighting. Don't really see anyone else. Let's go in for a closer look, see who's fighting who. Actually, we got one more player teleporting in. They're probably gonna try and tag team against that one player. Let's go help him out. We'll make it a fair fight. Oh crap, big mistake. That's one of the Alpha Clans. We got another one stopping by. It's the whole clan. I don't think we're going to make it out of this. I'm going to try and teleport to a more neutral territory. Well, that was all completely my fault. I just Amazon Prime deliver my kit to that clan. I was too thirsty for some PvP and I ended up paying the price as a solo. Thankfully, we still have one more crafted kit, so the fun continues. That clan that just killed us, they're actually the latest alpha clan to the server. They were the clan that was raiding that jungle base yesterday night. And like I said then, they are a very big group and they seem to be taking over the server now. I've been reading the chat today and I think a lot of the older hardcore PvP alpha clans that have been around since I first joined this server, they're starting to leave the server now and move on to the next popular server. Since the Conan PvP community is so small, that's usually how it goes on official servers. It's usually the same hardcore PvPers fighting each other on one server and then once all the wars are over, they'll switch over to a new server and fight each other all over again on that new server and then the cycle just continues. 
But yeah, with all the older alpha clans leaving the server and with two cheaters roaming around wiping the casual player population, I think this server is about to become very inactive real soon. But as long as there's still some action happening, we're going to keep this adventure going. I would love to be able to 1v1 some of the players that killed us over at Brim Lake, but I don't think we'll get a chance to do that since they seem to always be running in a group together. So we'll just have to stay far away from them because really there's not much we can do against 5 or 6 players. We're just severely outnumbered. We'll just try our best and stay away from all the popular spots and see if we can find ourselves some 1v1s or maybe some 1v2s are okay as well. So I actually just spotted someone teleporting over to the unnamed city but I wasn't able to follow them since I still don't have that obelisk location. So we're gonna walk our way to the unnamed city and see if anything is happening there and while we're at it we're also gonna tune our bracelet there. Alrighty, here we are. Welcome to the unnamed city. We're gonna hit the obelisk first and attune our bracelet, and then we'll see if we can find that other player. Honestly, it's gonna be pretty tough finding them here since this place is enormous and the landscape just makes it hard to spot people. But we'll just see what happens. I'm not gonna look too hard. If we can't find them, we're just gonna go somewhere else. Does anyone else struggle navigating around this place? I feel like I need to pop out the map every two seconds just to get around. Alrighty, here we have it. Finally found it. Got a little bit lost on my way here, but we finally have the final obelisk. Now we're just gonna do a quick look around and if we don't find anything, we're just gonna get out of here. So I looked around for a few minutes and I didn't see a single soul in here except the skeletons. So we're not gonna waste any more time here. We're gonna get out of here and go explore somewhere else. We're gonna stay away from Sinkhole and Brim Lake to avoid the two cheaters and also the last remaining alpha clan on this server. Since the middle of the map is in a pretty dangerous state, I'm thinking we go along Noob River and head east to the jungle and see what we can find there. Got some bad news. We just ran into the Alpha Clan. And they're coming straight for us. You know what? This time we're not gonna run. We're gonna fight them. Well, <laughs> that was absolutely tragic. I was hoping that I could climb up that base to heal and then pick them down with my spear as they were climbing up, but it didn't work out too well for us. That player on that horse got us good. This is a long shot, but I'm trying to see if any of those players that gank me would be up for a 1v1 instead. But I doubt it's going to happen since we are officially out of kits for the day. I would have to craft some more tomorrow. Regardless, we're going to head back there now that we don't have anything to lose and see what base they were raiding. All right, here we are, made it to the raid. Looks like they're all still here. I think the base owner might actually be down there. It kind of looks like he's trying to defend his base. I don't think he has any gear though. He's just kind of trying to slow them down. Looks like that's it for this base. It got completely demolished. This base actually belonged to the player that we counter raided in the last episode and uh, I don't really see him coming back from this.
Well, I think that's enough Conan for me today. We'll be back tomorrow to check on the server and see how things play out for the future of this server. As of today, all of the OG Alpha clans have moved on to the next most popular server, leaving us with only one new Alpha clan that will most likely get bored in a day or two because there's no competition left. We also had two cheaters roaming around today, killing off the casual player population. And I think that's pretty much it for today's highlights. We'll check back in tomorrow. Alrighty, hello everybody. It is now the next day and check this out. Last night after we got off Conan, we actually ended up getting raided by some random clan that I've never heard of before. Uh, the base was mostly empty, so we didn't really lose anything. I think now I'm just going to go ahead and patch this base up and then I'll craft myself some new kits for today and then we'll go see what else happened last night after we left. So it's been about an hour now since my last update and we finally stocked up on some armor and some weapons and we're almost ready to go. I just wanted to show you guys my neighbor's base before we start our day. I'm pretty sure the same clan that raided our shack also raided my neighbor. And I wouldn't be surprised to see that all of the bases on New Breber have been wiped by this clan. Like I said, I've never heard of this clan before. I'm pretty sure they only just got here yesterday. And they probably just raided the easy bases along New Breber just to get a head start. But I don't really think we're going to be going after these players. Uh, it doesn't really seem worth it. I am, however, more interested in the last alpha clan that this server has. It's the guys that we ran into yesterday. I want to go check out their base right now and see what we're dealing with. Right now, there's only three of them online, so this would probably be the best time for us to scout their base before the other members log in. Here we are now. This is their base location. They are located at the gutter, so it's going to be one of those unraidable hanging bases if they set up a god bubble today by the time raid hours start. So I do have a set Arc Priest, which would be the perfect god to use to raid the tunnel for this base. And I also noticed that there is an open set altar at New Breber that we could probably use to hit this base if they don't set up a god bubble. This would definitely be quite the mission for us if we did decide to go through with this. First, we would need to complete a few hundred zeals on the set altar so that we can actually craft the god token. Then we would need to transport the god token all the way here from New Breber and hope that we don't get ganked along the way. And then finally, we would need to somehow summon the god before five of them come outside to destroy us. If I'm being completely honest, the chances of our success aren't that great. These guys are not some casual players, they're definitely always ready for an attack. So worst case scenario, we just end up donating a god token to this clan. Now regardless of our success rate, I think we're still going to go through with this plan. Now the only issue is that it is already too late for me to prepare for all this today since raid hours is about to begin shortly. So if they don't set up a god bubble today, we're definitely definitely gonna hit them with a god attack tomorrow. We're gonna head back to base now and start getting ready for raid hours. I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty and we're back and good to go and I figured since our schedule is pretty much free today until tomorrow when we actually attack the alpha clan we should go out and see if we can find the clan that raided our base last night as well as our neighbors. I did speak to another neighbor that lives really close by and he said that the same clan that raided our base also attempted to raid his base but thankfully he was able to defend against them. Like I said before these guys only just joined the server yesterday and just from what I've seen and heard so far, it seems like these guys really wreck havoc on Noob River last night after we logged off. So I guess we'll just spend about an hour or so looking around and see if we can get some sweet revenge on Noob River's behalf. So far the server seems pretty quiet today after everything that happened yesterday. Right now we only have about 19 players online which is considered low population for this specific server considering that it usually has a queue of around 10 to 15 people waiting. We're gonna stop by Skrillex's new village and see if these guys also attacked his base. 
All right, just spoke to Skrillex for a bit and his new village is safe and sound. Did not get attacked by those guys. So we'll just keep moving now, heading east to the southern jungle. Check it out, looks like somebody also hit the Lost Boys yesterday. Because the last time we saw this, this base was just getting built. Check it out, we got another gutted base that wasn't like this the last time we were here. Just three days ago, this server was fully active and now it's pretty much just a graveyard. Yeah, it's a real shame, but I think our time on this server is about to come to an end real soon if things don't turn around. Another rated sandstone base. I feel like this part of the episode is just going to turn into a rated base compilation. Even this alpha base is demolished. If you remember from two days ago, there used to be this giant tower base. It's completely gone now. Oh, and I got some more bad news, unfortunately. Check it out. The last remaining alpha clan that we plan to hit tomorrow, they set up their god bubble eight minutes before raid hours. So that pretty much cancels our plans for tomorrow. Honestly, with the current state of this server, I don't even expect this clan to stick around past the next two days. There's just nothing really left to do on this server since all the competition is gone. So most likely they'll just follow the other OG alpha clans that already left to another server. Alrighty guys, I think it's time for us to start heading back to base now. I looked around a bit more and I literally couldn't find a single base that wasn't raided already. So instead of wasting time roaming around, I think I'll just get started with editing these episodes for you guys. I'll probably check back in tomorrow to see if by some miracle this server is brought back to life. Alrighty, good day everybody. It is currently the next day and today the server is more dead than yesterday. It is raid time and if you take a look at the player list, there's only about 10 players online right now including myself. There is not even a single member of the last alpha clan online right now. Those guys have officially moved on to the next most active PvP server with the rest of the OG alpha clans that left earlier this week. With them gone, that leaves this server with not much else for us to do now. So I think today will most likely be my last day here. I'm going to go on a Conan hiatus for about a week and just get a bunch of episodes edited for you guys. And then we'll come back and check to see if any new clans have joined the server for us to fight. I'm hopeful that this server will eventually come back to life because this is one of those servers that no matter what happens it always comes back to life eventually. So I'll just see you guys back in about a week. Thank you for tagging along on today's adventure and I hope you enjoyed it. Take care everyone.